Here let us see a question from the chapter mathematical induction. Question is very interesting, very important question. Question is proved by the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to the set of natural number capital N. Here mathematical statement given is 1 upon 3 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 9 plus up to nth term 1 upon 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 is equal to right hand side is n upon 3 into 2n plus 3. So, let us see the solution here. Here given mathematical statement is we denote mathematical statement with this notation p n. So, p n is 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 9 plus 1 by 2n plus 1 into 2n plus 3 this is equal to right hand side is n by 3 into 2n plus 3. Let us call it relation number 1. Okay. So, what is the method of solving this question? We have done so many question of the same pattern in previous videos. Please go through these videos, very interesting videos are there. So, here we have to take only three steps for solving this question. First step, we have to show that P1 is true. Means when we will put n is equal to 1, we will get P1 and we will show that in that case P1, in case of P1, this will be LHS is equal to RHS. Means P1 is true, first step. Second step, we have to assume that P r is true, means we will put here n is equal to r and we will assume that the given relation is true. And third and last step, we have to show that P n pl r plus 1 is true, we will put n is equal to r plus 1 and at that case we will show that LHS is equal to RHS. So, it will be proved that P r plus 1 is true. And after that, uh, all uh, steps will be over and we have to write only one line statement at the last that by the principle of mathematical induction, P n is true for all n, that is all. Okay? So, let us start here from step number 1, where we have to show that P 1 is true. So, to show that P 1 is true ok. So, putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1. So, we are getting here this will be P 1 putting n is equal to 1 and here we have to take only one step since total number of terms is n, but since we are putting n is equal to 1. So, in left hand side we have to take only one term. So, this is 1 by 3 into 5 and right hand side is that much. So, in place of n you have to put 1. So, this is 1 by 3 into 2 into 1 plus 3 or we are getting here 1 by 15 is equal to here 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 into 3 is 15. So, this is 1 by 15. So, therefore, here we are getting LHS is equal to RHS. It means P 1 is true that is P 1 is true. So, first step is over here and second step we have to assume that P r is true. So, assuming that P r is true that is putting n is equal to r in relation number 1 that will be p r and we are assuming that p r is true. So, after putting n is equal to r in 1 we are getting here 1 by 3 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 7 plus 1 by 7 into 9 up to 1 by 2 n plus 1 into 2 n plus 3 this is equal to sorry in place of n we have to put r. So, 2 r plus 1 and 2 r plus 3 
and right hand side is r upon 3 times of 2r plus 3. Let us call it relation number 2. And third and uh, last step we have to show that p r plus 1 is true. Now to show that p r plus 1 is true and for this we will be putting here putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. So, we will get here p r plus 1 will become 1 upon 3 into 5 plus 1 upon 5 into 7 plus 1 upon 7 into 9 plus 1 upon 2 r plus 1 into 2 r plus 3. This is second last term and last term we will get by putting n is equal to r plus 1 here. So, last term will be 1 upon 2 times of r plus 1 plus 1 into 2 times of r plus 1 plus 3. This is equal to r plus 1 by 3 into 2 r plus 1 plus 3. Okay. So, here we have to show that p r plus 1 is true. We have to show this much p r plus 1 is true. For this we will start from left hand side and after simplification we will show that LHS is equal to RHS then it will be proved it will be true. Okay. So, let us start with left hand side, but in left hand side you see up to this much part this is equal to this one by relation number 2. This much portion is equal to r upon 3 to r plus 1. So, for this much part we can write r upon 3 into 2 r plus 3 and last term is next term is 1 by 2 into r plus 1 plus 1 2 into r plus 1 plus 3. Okay. We will simplify it and we will show that this much is equal to right hand side. This is our aim, this is our objective here. So, let us simplify it. Here this is r by 3 into 2 r plus 3 and this denominator will become 1 by 2 r plus 2 and plus 1. So, 2 r plus 3, 2 r plus 3 and here 2 r plus 5, 2 r plus 5. Okay. And from these two denominators we can take 2 r plus 3 common. So, 1 by 2 r plus 3 this is common and from this term uh, remaining part is r by 3 r by 3 and from this term 1 upon 2 r plus 5 1 upon 2 r plus 5. Let us simplify it further. So, this is 1 by 2 r plus 3 and let us take LCM here. So, LCM will be 3 into 2 r plus 5. Okay. So, how much? 6 r plus 15, 6 r plus 15. Here r will be multiply with 2 r plus 5. So, 2 r square plus 5 r, 2 r square plus 5 r and plus 1 into 3. So, in numerator we are getting quadratic expression. So, this will be factorized into two parts. So, this is equal to 1 by 2 r plus 3 and denominator is 6 r plus 15 
and here we have to factorize it by splitting the middle term. So, this is 2r square plus 2r plus 3r plus 3 ok and this is 1 upon 2r plus 3 into we can take 2r common from these two terms first two terms 2r will be common. So, remaining will be r plus 1 here we will take 3 common. So, r plus 1. So, after factorizing we will get here r plus 1 into 2r plus 3 2r plus 3 ok and this denominator can be written as 6r plus 15. So, 3 will be common here. Uh, we are following this pattern that is why we are taking 3 common. So, here 2r plus 5. Here this 2r plus 3 and 2r plus 3 will be cancel. Okay. So, now we will get the final result here. So, this is equal to in numerator we are getting r plus 1 and in denominator 3 we have to get we have to find this result we have to bring this result. Okay. Uh, 3 into 2 n plus 3. Uh, so, and uh, we will come to this place here to this result. So, this is 3 into this 2 r plus 5 can be written in this form also 2 r plus 2 plus 3. So, this is can be written as 2 into r plus 1 plus 3. Okay. So, this is right hand side. So, we are getting here left hand side is equal to right hand sides. So, therefore, P r plus 1 is true. Okay. And finally, you have to write one line statement. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction, this statement is true for all n. So, we have to write one line statement here at the last. Okay. So, that is all about the solution of this question. This is very interesting question and hope you have got the solution properly. Thank you very much for watching this video. We will see some more problems in other videos to come. Thank you very much.